Did you ever hear of the man that traded a red paper clip for a house? I know it sounds crazy, right? For a house. How does that even work? Well, what if I were to tell you that we're going to essentially do the same thing with Pokemon? We're going to take one of the lowest priced budget booster boxes on the market right now and turn it into a vintage booster box. What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Cody from Selix Pokemon. We do operate a small online store. If you do want to check out our website, it is linked in the description below. Before we get into tonight's topic, make sure you do me a solid though. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on important videos like this. Now I know I can't be the only one that feels like I'm priced at a sealed vintage product. At this point, you have to empty your life savings, sell your car, maybe even your house just to be able to afford a sealed vintage booster box. So how does one take a $90 booster box, one of the cheapest boxes on the market, and turn it into a $10,000, $11,000, maybe even $12,000 Wizards of the Coast booster box like Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes, First Edition Jungle Fossil? Might sound easier said than done, but a little bit of time, a little bit of determination, and a little bit of patience. Let me explain. The man who traded the red paperclip for the house didn't straight up trade a paperclip for a house. What he did was a series of trades, trading up to a more valuable item until it got to the point where he was able to trade up all the way to a house. That's essentially what we're going to do here. We're going to take a $90 booster box and potentially turn it into a ten dollars to $12,000 booster box. How do we even make that work? Well, with your support, with your help, a little bit of time, patience, determination, we'll get there. We're going to start out with a cheaper box, such as something like Fusion Strike or Chilling Rain. And what we're going to do is we're going to break it. We're going to sell all the packs. And then from the funds made from that booster box break, we're going to take exactly what we made and put it into a better booster box. We take that next booster box, we do another live break. We take the money made from the pack sold and we buy a better booster box. And we're going to keep doing this until we work up to a vintage Wizards of the Coast booster box. It sounds crazy, I know, but it can be done. So you might be wondering, why do you care? Well, we're opening all these boxes live for everyone. but you should care because I'm going to be giving away some of the vintage packs to my subscribers as well for helping achieve this amazing milestone. Who doesn't love free vintage booster packs? I know I would love it. This whole project or experiment, whatever you want to call it, I will be documenting the whole thing here on YouTube. We'll be sharing all the information, all the funds made will be all shared publicly here on the channel. There will be 100% transparency. So you could see exactly how much we are progressing towards this goal of buying a vintage booster box and breaking it live. Now, I'm just an average guy. I'm an average collector. I'm sure a lot of you out there could relate to me. I don't have that type of money where I could just dump on a vintage booster box, spend $10,000, $12,000 on Pokemon cards. That's what this project is about, to show you, to show the community, to show the rest of the world that if you work hard enough and you're determined enough and have enough time and patience to put this type of effort in, you can really achieve anything. I really appreciate everyone's support. Remember, this project will not be possible without that support. Even if you're not participating in the breaks, subscribing helps, the views help, the likes help. It all helps with the algorithm. So just keep in mind, no matter how big or small, any little bit of support helps. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on more updates like this. This project should be beginning very shortly. It's going to be a blast and I cannot wait to share it with everyone. As always, I really appreciate the support. Let's make like Charizard and keep this passion burning.